Buying new stuff is so much fun. First, you have the love at first sight phase, where everything is fantastic. Finally, this thing will be the thing that rules all other things forever. Then comes the phase when reality kicks in and the coolness and its weaknesses start to balance each other out. After some time of struggle, you either go, screw this, or you keep it. New thing gets released, repeat. This video is about a thing in form of a book. But this book is actually not about buying stuff. This book is about what you do with your stuff, and is aimed for dance music production. The Secrets of Dance Music Production by Attack Magazine is a book that is the spiritual follow-up to the book The Secrets of House Music Production by Sample Magic. A bit confusing with the names there. The book is of some 300 pages using a landscape format and is quite close to an A4 page in terms of size. It is organized into eight main areas. Drums, bass, sound design, using samples, vocals, music theory, tools of the studio and mix and master. The book has a very clear structure and it is very easy just to jump into the area you would like to focus on. Each section usually starts off with an introduction about the fundamental aspects about the subject. This is usually quite basic stuff, but kept to the point so it doesn't bother you too much if you already have some knowledge. What I like is that every section contains short anecdotes or useful producer tips from someone famous, plus a fun selection of the most important tools such as best microphones, best drum machines and so on. This book deals with dance music as a whole and rather than taking a genre specific approach, the book focuses on different elements of a track and then goes into detail of different genres. I like that. Not just because it appeals to my insanely logical mind, but also because it crosses the boundaries of genres. A tutorial for Progressive House is great, but I don't know when I last heard a song that I would classify as 100% in a specific genre. For interesting tracks, the borders between genres have always been blurry. The meat of the book is some 100 step-by-step -step walkthroughs to get a particular sound for different genres. What I like about this is its direct approach. Right, maybe you aren't interested in techniques to recreate breakbeats, but its walkthroughs just seems to draw me in, and I find myself reading about things I normally wouldn't be interested about. I also like that the book comes in print. iPad books are great, but nothing beats a physical book, and it will be with you even a few years down the road when iPads have been replaced by something new and better. The book is really a primer that gives you a wide knowledge of the most important things in the most important genres. Risers, keys for deep house, how to make your samples sound old school, what scales to use and why, how to record your voice and so on. It covers a vast area, but it doesn't go too deep. It nails the most important aspects, but never goes crazy about which compressor is the best for the transients of a 909 or analyzes the intricate details of the TB303 sound. While that stuff can be fun, especially if you have thick skin and are posting on gear sluts, it won't help you make any music. So I'm glad to say that the secrets of dance music production doesn't get stuck in the quagmire of details. It's a bit like having a good producer at close hand who helps you avoid the worst problems and find your sound quicker. What I really liked about the book are the small tips and the pro tips. They are short and to the point with real life situations. A good example of that is how Stonebridge came up with the bass sound for Show Me Love. The walkthroughs in the book are great, but for me the small tips were the best. Anything I didn't like? Well, there is this part at the end of the book that outlines different studio setups that is so generic that it feels like a way to fill out a couple of pages. On the other hand, just a couple of pages further on, you have excellent arrangement breakdowns that just makes you wish for more. It is now some eight years since Sample Magic published the book The Secrets of House Music Production. And while I like that book, I think this one is the better. It contains more to-the-point examples. 
The only book that I would rate higher than both is the Making Music book by Ableton. That is just my number one book of making music. But that one doesn't focus on sounds, but rather on different approaches of making music and what to do when getting stuck. If you're a beginner, The Secrets of Dance Music Production will give you a solid foundation. If you already have some experience, this book will help you fill in the blanks. If you're a pro, this is the book you should give to your friend who is always nagging for advice.